Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wasia's Match of the Week stream for Week 4 JV. I am Andrew Chase Jr. joining you in the imaginary commentary booth. Today we have two teams being featured. As always, we have Orlick B and Green Bay Southwest A. Let's get right into my notes real quick. So we have Lizards R1, who is a Gold 2 Division 2. Aiden R123, who is a Gold 2 Division 2. Scott. Hashtag 3693. I could not find a rank for him. Could not find a rank for Deku as well. They have Cool Eevee as well, who is a Gold 3 Division 4. Some notes for them is that they lost to the Pure B in Week 1, defeated Wausau West B in Week 2, and defeated Union Grove 3 0 in Week 3. Now, moving on to Green Bay Southwest A. We have Mata 0246 coming in at a gold one division three. Stewart 14 coming in at a gold two division one. Crash Gamer 10 coming in at a gold one division one. And Death by Kitch coming in at a gold three division four. And some notes for them is that with their matches. Kind of got scrambled a little bit. So let me just briefly look real quick. At their schedule of games that they played, I did not have much time to do this. And I had other stuff to do, including homework. So bear with me for a second. So they played Wausau West B in week one. And they played Union Grove week two. And they lost the case in week three. So I would assume one of the two teams, Wausau West B or Union Grove, was on spring break or either forfeited their match. So we'll just go with that. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the uh, game records too. Horlick B coming in at a 7-4 and four game record. Coming off of a sweep of Union Grove and Green Bay Southwest coming in at three and five, coming off a loss to Case. This should be an evenly contested matchup. As always, that is what I hope for. But, you know, things like what happened on Tuesday can happen where Walden completely sweeps Edgewood. So, gotta be prepared for the unexpected. Or uh, expect the unexpected. Excuse me. We will be getting into the game shortly. And, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I now have an Ethernet cable, so hopefully the stream is not as laggy as it was before. And... I did take off the starting soon screen, so that won't be an issue this time. All right, we should be getting the players from the respective teams in here uh, quite shortly. I would assume probably at four o'clock at the latest. Come to think of it, after this match, we're going to be officially halfway through the Rocket League regular season. That's crazy to think about.
So I, I would say this is the time if you want to go get a snack, get a drink, go ahead. Uh, be quick with it though, because sometimes the teams join uh, rather early. So if you want to do that, go do that, and come back and watch the match. Or series, I should say, because they are best of five. If anybody here is sort of new to how things run here uh, with Wasia and Rocket League, uh, we have two matches each week, Tuesday to Thursday. We're currently on week four. We're going to end week four after today's stream. So we'll be looking forward to uh, the next four weeks, week five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, each will have each week will have two games within them. So yeah, still a lot of games to go and a lot of games to be featured. And plus we got playoffs too. We have, I think, two weeks of playoffs, maybe more. And then we have the state championship on May 14th. Just confirm that date before I false advertise here. It is May 14th, okay. It will be at North Central Technical College in Wausau, Wisconsin. kind of weird not seeing the packet loss disconnecting there latency variation it's kind of weird to not see that but you know it, it's a very good thing nonetheless Are you talking about audio or? Still waiting on the two teams to get into the lobby.
All right, looks like we got Green Bay Southwest A's half in there. We are just waiting on Horlick B to get in there. I am hoping that the series is going to be even. It should be a good one nonetheless. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, that is their coach, I believe. Seems as though Orange Banana 10 is coming in as a substitute for Green Bay Southwest A. So that will be interesting to see how that plays out for them. All right, here we go. We have Orlix half in there. We have Aiden. We have Drift One Thousand or Drift Hundred Thousand. We have Lizards R One, and we have Star Wars S Seven. As we are going to get started here rather shortly with game one of hopefully five. Starts out kind of slow in the beginning and then it just picks up its pace. Hopefully, there we go. Nice hit by Stewart. So he's going to take it. Can't get much. Uh, stars with a nice demo on Kitsch. Aiden gets it past one. Center position. Uh, none of his teammates are there for Horlick B. And Kitsch is going to take this one. Can he establish ball control here? I mean, he does. I mean, Lizard hits it up. But it was close to his goal. Uh, death by Kitsch put up a shot. Aiden with a great save for Horlick. Kitch puts it over Lizards, puts it over Star Wars, and he gets this one in. Beautiful play by him, Orange Banana 10 with the demo at the end of it. Just a nice play overall by Kitch. Well done. Green Bay Southwest A takes a one point advantage with 410 remaining. Star Wars gonna go off, the wall can't hit it. Lizards is going to hit this one. Doesn't go too far. It's still in Southwest A territory, though. The Stewart pushes it. Drift is there to clear it. Star Wars with the demo on Orange Banana. Balls up in the air. And Kitch is just going to get this one in there. Just bounces on in. Another great play from Kitch. And that is what you like to see if you're Green Bay Southwest A, if you're Orlick. You gotta find a way to step it up a little bit here. Already down two with 342 remaining is Orlick B. Stewart gets one over Drift, gets it over Star Wars. And Kitch is gonna get his hat trick early here. Man, already three goals put up by Green Bay Southwest A. Kitch is just going off so far in this one. Star Wars with a nice kickoff. Kitch 
kitch and nearly put it past lizard lizards could not. Star Wars with the Demon Kitch. Exactly what Horlick D needs here. Establish some offense, potentially, but Orange Banana is there to save it. Kitch is now back to pinch it off the wall. Try to stall any pressure put on by Horlick, and they do so. Orange Banana with a center. It's cleared pretty easily by Drift. Or Lizards. Oh, and Aiden backflips accidentally, but he's there for the save. Capitalizes on his malfunction with his car. Saves Horlick from being down four. Star Wars with the demo on Orange Banana yet again. That is the second time we've seen that so far. Ooh, Star Wars S7 accidentally bumps Lizards, and Lizards is just bumped all over the place. Aiden with a nice clear. Puts it towards midfield. No one's there to advance it for Horlick goes. They're all back. Aiden's going to have to punt this one out. Star Wars with a nice bump. Stewart punts it up in the air. Is he going to get this one? No. Southwest A is not going to get this one. Ball goes over. Orange Banana. Star Wars puts up a shot and he's going to get it. Great play from Star Wars S7 as he gets demoed by Stewart at the end. Nice shot, taking advantage of what's open in front of him. We've seen that a lot. Many players on offense on these streams. Ooh, Orange Banana messed up on that one. Stewart did as well. Aiden with a little bunt, not going to go anywhere. Morlick is going to have to disintegrate the pressure being put on them as they cannot. Can Lizards do it? No, he can't. Orange Banana gets the ball right over him. Great play by Orange Banana there. And now Green Bay Southwest A is up three, 134 remaining. Kitch. He's going to hit it. Aiden with a strong response with a clear. Ooh, he advances it. Center position. Star Wars there. No, he just misses it. Oh, man. That one's got a sting for Horlick. As they may have could, they may have gotten another goal there. Only cut their deficit to two. Lizards trying to put it in center position. Orange Banana whacks it onto the crossbar. The bounce does not favor Horlick, as now there is open field in front of Orange Banana. Gets it past one. Can't get it past Aiden, though. He gets the savior of the game. Stewart with a nice punt. Strong punt. Puts it center position instantly, but Aiden is there to clear it for Horlick. Star Wars with the demo on Kitch. It's it away from the goal. Aiden responds by saying, I'm going to hit this toward the goal. And he did so, but it didn't go too far. Star Wars with another demo on Orange Banana. It's the third time we've seen it. Call it a hat trick, folks. This kid puts up a shot. Lizard is there to save it. Kitch centered it. None of his teammates were there. as this one is going to go in the favor of Green Bay Southwest A. All tap keys are not working that well. All right, as we have Green Bay Southwest A taking game number one. All right, we're gonna get strapped in and get set for game number two. Because we are waiting for Aiden R, one, two, three, two, ready up. 
As you can see, there's not a lot of scoring from Horlick B in Game 1. They're going to have to step that up in Game 2 if they want to contend in this series. I mean, only one shot attempt put up from Horlick is not going to be enough to win you games. They're going to have to establish their offense rather quickly if they want to stay in this. As they make a swap, they swap Star Wars S7 for Drift 100,000. As we get to here for game number two. Hitch with a nice kickoff. Blizzard is there to respond for the moment. Raiden and Drift both combine to clear it momentarily. And they do now as it's in the Southwest Ace half. Drift is going to look to push this one up. Can't follow through. Blizzard hits it up. Hitch comes down on it, and Stewart is there to clear it. Aiden with a shot attempt wide to the right of the goal. Blizzard's going to challenge it with no boost. Gets a pretty decent challenge. Oh, and Drift accidentally bumps into Lizards. That's not good. And oh, and Aiden is not in position to save it for Horlick as Stewart scores for Green Bay Southwest A. Tough break for Aiden there. As now Green Bay Southwest A takes a 1 0 lead, 4 17 remaining. A strong hit after the kickoff. Center position. No one's there for Horlick at the moment. Kitch gets it over one. Can't get it over Aiden, though. Oh. Lizards look like he would have had a shot at him. He was there a couple seconds early. But again, that would have been a hard shot to make for him. As he probably wasn't expecting the ball to go that way. Or be as fast as it went towards the direction. As Drift almost puts one in. Just a little bit wide to the right of the goal. Aiden, oh, he almost got that one in, but Kitch is there with the clutch save for Green Bay Southwest A. Wizards. Clears it. Drift gets it past Stewart. Can he take advantage of the open field? Yes, he can. Drift with a nice goal for Horlick, tying the game up at one, the 320 remaining. Drift comes off of the bench and he puts one in for his team, keeping them, keeping them in this game. Stewart and Orange combine for the save. Orange is gonna have to clear this when Kitch accidentally bumps his teammate Stewart. I'm not sure what that was about. Lizards, ooh, got it past one. Stewart with a demo on Aiden. Kitch misses the ball yet again. Drift misses the ball. And Aiden and Orange Banana challenge. Pretty evenly met challenge, I will say that. As that was a bump from Lizards and Drift. Man, these people are just bumping each other constantly. Ooh, Aiden looked to get one in. Could get that one in. Drift is steadily applying more pressure to Southwest A. Lizards with a nice punt. Is that going to go in? Yes, it does. Amazing stuff from Lizards there. From the angle he took that shot, I did not think that was going to go in. But looking at it again, it was going to go in. It fit right under the crossbar. And Orlick B takes a one goal lead, 220 remaining. Drift with a favorable kickoff for Horlick to start things off. Orange Banana misses the ball. Wizards applying more pressure to Green Bay Southwest A. Ball goes over one. Drift is there for the clear. And if you're Horlick, what you want to do here is you want to manage the clock as much as possible or just get a wide open goal like that is Drift. Just gets it in as no one was back there for Green Bay Southwest A. Like I was saying before, what you do if you're up one 
goal is you take advantage of the clock and you chew it down as much as you can and stall by playing great defense. We've seen that many times so far on stream, whether it be the warm-up tournament, the border battle, other previous weeks. That's kind of a more methodical way to play this game. The more aggressive route, obviously, is just dem is just demoing everybody on the team, or just one specific person that's really good on the on said team. Uh, nonetheless, though, Kitch with a de with a uh, demo on drift. Orange banana missed the ball, pretty costly. Could have got a goal off of that one. Drift cannot hit it. Luckily, Aiden's there to push it. Aiden with a shot attempt saved by Stewart. Blizzard hits it up, gets it past Orange Banana, gets it past Stewart. Is he going to get it past Kitsch? Yes, he does, but he doesn't get the goal, fortunately. Ball sails wide to the right, Aiden with a shot. Attempt, goes wide to the left. Ooh, that one gets past Drift. Blizzard demos Kitsch. Oh, and Drift almost own gold. Oh my god, what what just happened there? As Kitsch with a goal for Green Bay Southwest A. I... Wow. It was going to be an own goal, then it wasn't an own goal, then it was a shot put in by Kitsch for Green Bay Southwest A. What a play. Green Bay Southwest A cuts their deficit by one goal with 30 seconds remaining. Southwest A, you want to put up as much pressure as you can. You can't allow Horlick B to score here. Or you can't allow Southwest A to score, excuse me. As Horlick B is going to take game two. As ball still up in the air. Again, it's still up in the air. And it is going to come crashing down. Horlick B takes game two. Figure out what's going on with my alt tab keys. Usually only takes one try. Gotta forcibly press them at the same time now for some reason. But you know what? At least the quality of the stream is significantly better from what it was, which is what matters. And of course, the audio, of course. As we look at the scoreboard here, we can see that Horlick definitely stepped it up on offense. Like they, like I said for uh, after game one, they needed to step it up, and what did they do? They stepped it up. Now, if you're Southwest A, you want to keep the same momentum that you you want to regain the same momentum that you had for game one because now the momentum shifts towards Horlick as they're coming off the game win. And the series is tied at one. Not sure what's going on with Horlick B. Okay, they're in. They need one more player. They got their third player in there. As we get set for game three, if you're just tuning in, uh, let's see his match of the week for JV Week 4. Features Horlick B and Green Bay Southwest A. Horlick B coming in at 2 and one overall record, 7-4 game record. Green Bay Southwest A coming in at... A one and one overall record and a three and five game record. We are now just starting game number three. It's Aiden with a nice hit. The Kitch is going to respond immediately to that. He's going to even follow through center position. Oh, no one was there. Actually, multiple people were there for Green Bay South with A. They could capitalize as Lizards puts it in for Orlick B. Takes advantage of the opening provided from the push that Green Bay Southwest A attempted to make. And it proved costly for them as Horlick is already up 1-0. Four thirty remaining. Only 30 seconds into game 3. And we already have a score. 
Fade in center. No one's there. Orange Mana gets it somewhat past Drift Kitch. Center position again. Easily cleared by Horlick. Orange Banana looking to do something there. Not sure what he was planning on doing. Aiden with a nice clear for the moment. Kitch is going to try to apply more pressure on Horlick. Pinches it off the wall. Ball is up in the air. No one's going for it. Currently, Stewart goes for it. Wise decision by him. Bumps Drift. Drift can't save it. Ooh, luckily Aiden was there to clear it. A little bit of a huge bump for Southwest Avery. Able to get that goal. And Aiden just lays one in. For Horlick B. And now what we're seeing from Green Bay Southwest A is they're leaving big holes back by the net something that you don't want to do in this game you want to have a solid defense at most if you want to stop people from scoring as we see that Horlick B is playing somewhat more aggressive than in game one drift he gets that one in for Horlick as well. Or he gets that one in. Excuse me. He only got one, not two goals. Uh, nonetheless, though, a nice shot from Drift. Set up by a pass from Blizzard's R1. Great play from Horlick. They're up 3 to nothing. 3-11 remaining in Game 3. And if you're Green Bay Southwest A, you need to step it up quick here if you want to make the series even or just to win out the games. Same goes for Horlick as well. Ooh, Lizards with a nice bump on Orange Banana. Aiden puts a dangerous position there. Luckily, Drift was able to clear it. Gets it past one, gets it past two. Oh, Drift could have got one. Could have got a second one in there. Couldn't position his car right to align with the ball. Lizards off the wall, hits it. Center position. Ooh. Kitch just got it away before Aiden could get there. And he demos him, too. Drift with a bump on Kitch. Aiden, oh my. What a what a pinch right there. Ball still up in the air. Is Aiden going to follow this one? No. It's Kitch is there to deny any push. We're seeing a lot of misses happen for both teams here. is another key thing to note. Lizards gets past one. Does not get it past Kitch. Now he does. Now he gets past Stewart. Is that going to go in? Oh! Almost went in. And Drift was there. Just couldn't put it in. They didn't try to hit it off the wall. Could not. Now Horlick is going to have to get this ball out of their half. And they successfully do so. And now the push is on. Death by Kitch lays it up in the air. Gets it past Aiden. Demos, Lizards, and Stewart's there to put it in for Green Bay Southwest A. What a play. Very methodically coordinated play we just saw from Green Bay Southwest A. And that's another way to play this game, too. You can use the bully ball strat or the demo strategy as others may call it. Southwest A cuts their deficit to two with a minute and change remaining. Oh, a demo by Kitch on Lizards. Orange Banana. Oh, Aiden missed it. Oh, that might be costly. Stewart, oh, he was there. Just flipped backwards. He flipped awkwardly away from the ball. Southwest A needed that one and they needed it badly. They're looking to push again. Aiden with a nice pinch clear. Oh, it went past Orange Banana. That's not good. Aiden gets it past Stewart, and he gets it in for Horlick. And that might have just put the nail on the coffin for this game in favor of Horlick B. Great play from Aiden.
as they are lighting up the chat in the top left corner. Ooh, Kitsch. Ooh, he needed that one. Stewart's not going to get it either. Kitsch going to get this one in. No! Great play from Lizards. That was a more slowly, methodically placed attempt at a goal. And Horlick's going to rush it and they can't get it in. So many shot attempts that should have went in in this game. Orange Banana. The shot saved by Aiden. And this game is going to go in favor of Orlick B. There we go. Only took me one try to get the alt-tab keys to work. Oh, you Wrong team. There we go. Much better. All right. Uh, just a reminder, if Horlick B is able to win game four, they win the series, and they take it home three to one. But if Green Bay Southwest A wins game four, the series is tied at two, and we have a potential game five if Green Bay Southwest A turns it up. Same sort of situation here for Southwest A. You're not seeing too many shots. I mean, there's a plentiful amount of shots coming out of them, but not enough goals. Not enough methodically thought out plays like we saw the one where they chose the demo option and it worked for them. I wonder if we're going to see... Oh, we are going to see a change for Horlick. Interesting. Cool Eevee joins the game. We'll see how that works out for Horlick. Maybe Southwest Day takes advantage of the switch. Who knows? We'll find out now as game four starts. Try to clear this one. Off the side he does. Orange Banana demos. Cool Eevee. Cool Eevee and Drift combine with a clear. Oh, Aiden might have a wide open lane here. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he can't get it past. Can't get it past Stewart. Uh, Kitch demos Aiden. Drift is there to hit it. Oh, the ball went past Aiden. Somebody's got to get back there. Cool Eevee. But the clutch save for Horlick. Hitch with a nice save on Drift's shot attempt. Will Eevee ro uh, rotate in front of the ball? Missing it. Ball center position for the moment. Still center position. Is Aiden going to hit? Oh, he can't. Misses it. Orange Banana demos Drift. Aiden whiffs on his... Hit for the ball. Drift demos Orange Banana. And just constant pressure being put on Horlick. But Southwest A really can't take advantage of the pressure they're putting on. As they're getting the demos they need. Uh, like the one on Aiden by Stewart. But again, they're just not finding ways to score goals. Which, is, which was their big problem in Game 3. It's Drift almost got that one in, but Stewart was there for the save. Stewart misses the ball. Cool Eevee gets it past one. Cool Eevee's there. And scores for Horlick. Great play from Cool Eevee coming in the game to substitute in for Horlick and instantly gets a goal. Just like what we saw from Drift when he entered the game. That's cool, Eevee. Ooh, center position immediately. Drift can't get there to put it in. Ooh, oh, and Stewart gets that one in. Wow. He had a shot attempt initially, and it was saved, and then he just puts it back in there. Great play by him. Ooh, it was a double team effort. With 
Orange Banana popped it up. Stewart was right there to take advantage of it. Game's tied at 1. 2.44 remaining. Things may be heating up here. Looks like Southwest A is regaining their momentum. They gotta get back towards the goal to save this here. And they do. Hitch puts it up in the air. Well, he tried to follow his own shot, could not. Because he missed. Drift hits it up in the air now. Will he be or Aiden can't get it? Oh, that was almost a big one for Green Bay Southwest A, and they get it in there anyway. This Kitch is there. And we got an exterminator on the field. Orange Banana coming in with the exterminator, but we can't discredit the goal made by Kitch to put his team up one with 2.11 remaining. Last time we saw an exterminator, I made a raisin sugar cookie joke. That's funny. Anyway, Stuart Tamo's Aiden. And he was going to try to clear it. Ball still in Southwest State territory. Still trying to be cleared. Aiden puts it center position for the moment. Kitch is there with the clear. Says, no, sir. Orlix plans. Ball perfectly placed for Drift to go up and hit it in and tie the game at two with 135 remaining. A sharp but methodical turn done by Drift in order to hit the ball that was properly placed. And no one again was back there for Green Bay Southwest. Hey, that is their biggest problem. I keep harping on it. That is their biggest problem in this series is they are not playing cordon they are not coordinated well on defense excuse me orange banana with the demo on aiden oh and no one's back there for Horlick this time as kitsch gets another goal in there a long shot for him long shot meaning that it was a long distance goal great shot by him put southwest a back up this one with 117 remaining 3 to 2 score now we're seeing some action here ball centered Kitch can't get there as Aiden R puts it in for Orlick my goodness we're seeing back to back goals here and this is the content we like to see here evenly matched competition goal after goal after goal games tied at 3 109 remaining. I feel like this is the third time this game has been tied up. But it's only the... Yeah, it is the third time. As Aiden... Oh, almost got that one in for Horlick. That would have been crazy. All center position anyway. They can't capitalize. Orange Banana demos Drift. I believe he tried to do something there. Aiden does something there. Drift with a wide open lane. Can he get this one in? Oh no, he just misses. Just misses the goal. Aiden can't put it in. Man, Costa because an orange banana is just demoing everybody here. He is looking to be the epitome of a raisin sugar cookie. As Aiden, a nice hit over the goal. Unfortunately, 15 sec or 14, 13 seconds remaining. Drift puts one center position. Aiden gets it in for Horlick. And that might put the nail in the coffin to win Horlick the series. What a play. Drift and Aiden. 10 seconds remaining. If you're Southwest A, you got to hope you get this kickoff. And you got to hope you put it in there as quick as possible as they do. Can they get it in? 7 seconds. 6 seconds. 5 seconds. Center position. Aiden can't hit it. Can they get it in? No, they cannot. A strong defensive stop from Horlick. And that's going to win them the series. What a finish. As Horlick B takes it 3-1. to one. Great plays all around by both teams, but inevitably 
we saw Horlick B taking them out three to one. As Horlick B now advances to three and one, while Green Bay Southwest A unfortunately drops to one and two. Should probably update the records too here. While I am at it. So we got three, three and one for Horlick B. And we have one and two for Green Bay Southwest A. All right. And with that game coming to a conclusion, uh, the stream will be ending here uh, pretty shortly. So make sure to tune in next week for... Uh, on Tuesday for the match of the week for week five for varsity and the match of the week for JV on Thursday. Once again, I would just like to reiterate that I am super excited that I finally got an ethernet cable because as you've seen for the stream today, it ran pretty smooth. No issues whatsoever. I am a happy camper. So with that being said, I am Andrew Just Jr. signing out from the imaginary commentary booth. Have a good night.